Mikhail, over here. Here, here we are. Hey everybody, I'm here with Marcus. We're at Relish Guitars. Marcus, hi. Hi. You're on the Guitar Geek channel. What would you like to say to the people that watch this channel? This is... No, I'd never say that to any guitarist. Nikhil, lie down. No, don't lie down. You're holding the camera. <laughs> so, Marcus from Relish Guitars, sorry. Um, say hi to the fans and the people and the watchers and the viewers. Hi, guys. Hi, there's some crossover with the Hennings channel sometimes, but, you know, that's fine. All right. That's absolutely fine. Sure, yeah. Why Relish? What does Relish Guitars do? Uh, we have a fairly different approach to building guitars with a different... Uh, a different body construction and a big highlight we have come out with a pickup swapping system that allows you to instantly swap your humbuckers with a set of P90s or with a set of um, Seymour Duncan Jazz to or bare knuckle pickups whatever you like. This is the Mary one. Um, it's a uh, it's a floating sandwich construction we call it with an aluminum center frame bolt-on neck and Whoa. the back comes off magnetically. There's, so there's two wooden veneers on each, each, each side of the, of the aluminum frame. And since we can access uh, the interior of the, of the guitar that easily, we've developed a pickup mounting system with magnetics and uh, pre-soldered connecting points um, to the guitar's body. So you can actually look through the guitar if you want to have a nice view out of the window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a question. Yeah, sure. If people Can people then only buy pickups from you, or do you have a kit that you can retrofit, or um, how does it work when you want to swap something and say, I don't know, say I started making pickups and I wanted to put them in one of your guitars? Then you either send us the pickups, we mount them, or we send you the parts if you feel comfortable doing it yourself. There you go. That's good. Well, yeah. I, I probably wouldn't make pickups, but you know, as an example, <laughs> yeah, sure. can I feel the, the, how big? Like, what yeah. is this? What am I holding right now? This is the back. This is molded, molded wood, mm -hmm. uh, fairly strong, and uh, with a nitro satin finish. It's very smooth to my touch. Yeah. Very like that very much. I'm into my smooth touches at the moment. Yeah. I feel a bit nervous holding it. Can I give it back to you? Yeah, sure. Go mm -hmm. ahead. These with the flamed maple top, for instance, we also have eucalypt, we have flamed walnuts, we have a range of uh, different woods that we can, that we can um, custom build. And this one also has What's a... that? That is a touch control system. No, it isn't. <laughs> it is, yeah. So there's a, there's a circuit board and there's touch sensitive sensors that light up with LED. So you can... Um, so you what can, does it control? It controls the pickup um, mix. So you can go from neck to bridge in 15 steps. So there's 17 touch sensitive um, sensors in there. So you can pick and choose your, uh, your, your mix that you like. So you can go 80% neck, 20% bridge. You can go 30, 70, whatever you like. You can double tap to split the coils separately on both, uh, on both pickups. This is a semi, semi hollow body style construction. Um, also with the aluminum center frame um, with two um, veneers on either side. It also opens up easily man magnetically and so the, it's glued on so you've got a um, the whole body resonates differently than with the with the Mary so you've got a sort of semi hollow style um, sound in your guitar. Um, but other than that, it's the same specifications, more or less. Okay, so let's talk about resonance. The obvious question people are going to be thinking is, does it resonate and how well and how differently to, say, a more standardly old-style built guitar, the more, you know, like a Tele, Les Paul, Strat. What's the, the difference? Do you compensate or does it sound totally one of its own sounds? Well, it sounds different. The main difference is that we have uh, the strings going through straight into an aluminum frame so and aluminum is an amazing material to resonate so it picks up the the vibrations of the strings and it carries them on and uh, recently someone came by our workshop uh, um, Lionel Lueke the guitarist for Herbie Hancock and he started playing the guitar and he was like it goes on forever and uh, you just I mean we've all we're all stuck in this concept of wood being the main reason that the guitar sounds 
but we just found that the pickups make such a huge difference that we want to make sure you can swap them out and have a really good resonating body that lets the strings vibrate and, and just a bit better and longer. Is it tone aluminium? It's tone. Aluminium is the best tone wood. Aluminium? Yeah. Aluminium. <laughs> okay, well, um, Marcus, thank you so much for really blowing my mind with taking the back off of a guitar. I, sure. I, I've been so busy here at Guitar Summit that I forgot kind of where I was. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and then he did it. Oh my God, what's he doing? Yeah. I, I would love to get some sound samples to you. It's a little bit late to guitar sound, but maybe we can do something in the future together. Sure, yeah, love to. I will leave some links to your information down below this video, and I will say thank you, sir, and a good luck with Relish Guitars, and I hope Thanks, that you man. get lots of lots of lovely um, people playing your guitars, especially the guy from Herbie Hancock. Oh, just, just break <laughs> that guitar. I'm very tired. It's Sunday. It's the end, and thank you for having time for me. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers.